15 year old billionaire gets bullied what happens next is shocking i really doubt it because if a billionaire is getting bullied i'm pretty sure she's just gonna sue the poor people for whatever they have left and then they end up living in the streets all because someone made fun of her hair <laughs> that kid definitely got the n word to pass last time i checked we were going to school not a fashion show she's so stuck up you should try this thing called empathy. Not everyone can afford a walk-in closet with Chanel and Dior. Damn, these some hating bitches, bro. Damn. Now we gotta ride all soaked. That sounds like a you problem. Anything I can do, like give you guys a ride. I mean, so far it just seems like a normal girl. She just happens to be rich and everybody's just being a massive cunt. I still don't understand why you wanted to switch from private. Uh, I was wondering if tomorrow I could have school lunch instead of Cafeteria food? Ill. Absolutely not. Who knows what they put in that? That's the most stereotypical rich person I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. You go to McDonald's to eat? Oh, let me guess. You probably drink regular soda. See, me, I like, like, shut the fuck up. Those are like the most out of touch people I've ever seen in my life. And you know what? Props to the daughter because she looks like she wants to be normal instead of being some Miss Perfect over here. Probably has a pet dolphin. She probably owns a company that enslaves children from China. There's a big deal I am trying to close. I thought we were going to hang out today. We were. Honey. But like I said. Money's more important than family. Working on. Hey, dad. Are you still in China? Ah, of well, course he is. Issues, so. <laughs> I gotta make sure these eight-year-olds are, are doing the job and getting it all done. You make a lot I had to fire sense. five of them. They wanted to take a day off. Those stupid little slaves. Your mother asked me to go over many options for your upcoming birthday celebration with you. Oh, isn't she gonna be home soon? Yeah, she I might be running three days late. That all sounds too fancy. Okay, so like, okay, like, don't get me wrong. In my point of view, being this like fancy crap over the top, like rich lifestyle kind of looks pretty lame to me. But for her, she looked like she wanted to be down with like the urban community. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where this happened. Maybe she heard a Tupac song for the first time and she was like, yeah, I want to be a part of that. Maybe she saw a couple of Chief Keef music videos. I don't know. I don't know what changed her perspective from saying, mom, I don't want to go to private school. I want to go to public school with the homies and then... Like, mom, do we got to act like rich people? Do we got to live like we're rich? Can't we be brokies for a day? I'm like really curious to know where the hell this all comes from. Like, I genuinely want to know what oh, makes her want to be normal, I guess. Hey, dad. I, I was thinking if you came here early before my birthday. <laughs> yeah, you imagine if you look in the back, you see like strippers and hookers in the back. He's like, sweet, all right, I'm a little occupied. <laughs> Oh, fuck, this is the best blow I've ever had. But yeah, sweetheart, I won't be able to make it to your birthday. I just got a raise and I landed us the deal. Let me guess, another broken promise? Uh, I, I really, I really tried, sweetheart, but if I, if I can't get these issues resolved, yeah, you know, the stores, they won't have any products to sell. I, my company really needs me. What about me? I need you. You know who really needs me? The firing department, because I need to fire all these stupid ass kids that are not getting these damn products done in time. This kid tried taking a day off because he's turning six next week. And I said, nah, -uh, not in our division. Bah. No one's going to want to go to your pretentious birthday party. I decided to not invite anyone. Right. Because you think you're too good for everyone here. No, I never said that. You didn't have to. It goes without saying the way you strut around. And you had the audacity to show up at my work and completely- No, I- Okay, look girl, I'm gonna just tell y'all right now. If this rich kid wanna be one of us, just deck her right now. Do it, do it. Listen to the voices in your head. Fight, 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 is. fight, fight, oh, wait, fight. You don't, because you've never worked a single day in your life. My life is not a fairy tale. You see? Ah, for fuck's sake. I may sake. have been born into a rich family, but my parents are constantly working. They never have any time for me. Their jobs always come first. <laughs> Just like the rest of us. <laughs> this don't make sense. My parents were always working, but like we were never rich. The fuck? Did I miss something? Like, is there like something I'm supposed to sign up for? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. We were too mean. Oh, eat a dick. I never would have guessed that's how her life is. You really never know what someone's going through. <sighs> Shut Which is up. why it's probably best to always be nice. Oh my god, it's like almost as if they're talking to an audience right now with this like corny ass dialogue. Happy birthday! 
like, what are you guys doing here? Actually, how the hell did you know I live here? How'd you get passed through security? Hey, I owe you guys an apology too. I might have gotten really mad and I probably hired an assassin to take you two out. But I can always, you know, call them back and say, hey, cancel order. Honestly, like, I think I, I, it would be pretty cool to have, like, at least one rich friend. Not because I'd be asking him for money every week. But, I mean, shit, if he got money, he can take me places. I'd suck his dick if I had to. I mean, shit, like, I'm not even gay. Hey, I'm Brooke. Do you want to come sit with us? Ashley, and thanks. I just lost my daughter, and it's really hard for me. I'm going to get canceled for saying this. But since she's Asian... Is it really a mystery of what happened to that dog? You guys may think you're funny and all, but you're not. Oh. Ashley just lost her dog. Damn. The last thing she needs is you two teasing her. Talk that shit! Now I feel really bad. What? For real? We didn't know. See, the problem I have with these stupid ass videos with this corny ass dialogue, because realistically, I have never seen anybody get all apologetic shortly after you tell them like, oh, bro, it's so sad. You know, my pet rooster, he went out crossing the street the other day. He got ran over by a bus driver. And do you think all them dudes are going to be like, eh, sorry, bro. I'm really sorry to hear that, bro. You know what? Next round zombie. No, they're going to say, so what? You still a bitch. They're going to say all this mean stuff that you ain't trying to hear because you're really going through it. Why do you think fights break out? <laughs> All right, I'm venting out too much. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't want you guys to see that side of me. You never know what someone's going through. That's why you should always be nice. <laughs> oh my god. Happy birthday. If only people actually <laughs> lived by that. Darman, I feel like for a while you were winning my heart over, but this video actually took me like 10 steps backwards. All I did was feel annoyed, bitter, angry. I'm sorry, Darman, but I went from being a tad bit warmed up with my heart to now being cold as an ice stick. I meant to say ice stick. I don't know why I said ice stick. I gotta stop saying sus ass things, dude. It's like starting to rot my brain now.